Hello, my name is Garrett Foster, and this is the first tutorial in a multi-part series. I'm hoping that through these, I can help other people learn how to write some Grease Monkey scripts, and maybe help the game of Golan Blitz or whatever they else they may need to do on the web. Um, this this first tutorial will focus mostly just on getting Firefox, Grease Monkey, and everything set up and ready to go. If you already have that and you're kind of familiar with it, you may want to skip to the second tutorial. But anyway, if you're still around, you first thing you need to do is get Firefox installed. Now, I already have it installed, but I will show you where to go to get it. So load up your trusty internet browser, whichever one you prefer. And then we're going to go get Firefox. So if you just go to your search engine and just search for Firefox, it should be your first link, and it's right here. Just click on that, let it load up, and over here on the right you'll have a link to download and install it. So if you need to do that, you may want to pause this while that downloads and installs. However, since I already have it, I'm going to continue from here. Alright, so once you have that installed, you're going to... Well, I guess, if, if you already have Firefox installed, you want to make sure you're updated to the latest version. Um, I'm using Ubuntu Linux, however, most of this should work for Microsoft Windows and Mac users as well. Um, I know with with Microsoft users, if you click on this help menu up here, you'll have a, a link or an option you can click on that will check for an update, and from there you can update your version of Firefox. However, if you're on Ubuntu like me, you'll want to head to your software center or somewhere similar add remove possibly and just do a quick search for Firefox and make sure you have the latest one installed as you can see mine is installed and it is 3.6.3 so so um, we already have it loaded up so the next thing we need to do is go get our grease monkey so if you're on this page, you can click on add-ons. However, if you're not on this page that I currently have, you can click on the tools button and click on add-ons. And then up here in the corner, you'll see a get add-ons button. If you click on that, and then go over here and click on browse all add-ons, it'll automatically load up the add-ons for Firefox um, web page. And so the first thing we want to install is Grease Monkey. So if you just type in Grease Monkey correctly, of course, and give it a good search. Alright, and it should be your first link here. And click this button over here and add Firefox. You'll get a pop up box and it'll make you wait three seconds once it, it's done. You can click this install now button and it'll install up here in the corner. It'll ask you to restart, but don't restart it yet because we're going to go ahead and get another piece or another add-on for Firefox while we're here. So, uh, in your search box up here, type in Firebug, F-I-R-E-B-U-G, one word. And what this is, is this is a piece of software that's going to let us um, explore the web page in more depth than just uh, looking at source code or the, the page source. So if you click on the Add to Firefox, again wait your three seconds, click Install Now. It'll install. It's a little bit bigger, but it shouldn't take too long. Um, Alright, and then once that is done, you can go ahead and click the Restart Firefox button. It will remind you that it wants to reload your pages, of course. Okay. So, now we have Grease Monkey installed, and the screen should probably be up for you once it comes up. 
and then up top you'll see we have Firebug and if you aren't updated to the latest version of Firefox you may have trouble getting this version of Firebug and you may have to get an older version alright but we don't need to update anything so we should be good to go now you can tell that they're on I mean that they're added to your thing by going down here to the bottom right of your window and you'll see the little bug and the little monkey now right now your monkey is frowning so if you left click on him he'll turn all happy and now he your grease monkey um, extension is turned on and same thing with your fire bug if you left click on it it'll turn on and sorry I should have zoomed out for that but it'll pop up this screen just like this and then you can explore the HTML and expand collapsed trees up to your to your heart's content and then there's some other things on here that we'll get into in a little bit so um, for people who may not be familiar the first thing we're going to do with the grease monkey here and you can close that is we're going to install just a, a script for Goliath Blitz so a popular site that they're at is user scripts USER, and I already have it in my browser so and there's the web page so um, I'm of course already logged in but you can do a search and I'm just gonna have you install the so if you do GLB and I believe it is gouting bars okay and so there's a multiple of these that we could have I'm going to install the one that I wrote um, this is actually what I'm going to show you to write in the next version and I mean the next tutorial so whenever you find a script that you like click the install button again it'll make you wait three seconds install and then down here at the bottom it'll tell you if it succeeded or failed in installation alright so now to use it we have to navigate over to Goline Blitz if I can type there we go Okay, and hopefully you know the address for Goline Blitz alright so how this script works is it puts these little numbers in your scouting report box so if I to turn off a script by default they turn on when you install them um, you're going to right click on the monkey it'll bring up this dialog box down here and then you're going to scroll up and left click and so if I go down here right click and you see it's no longer checked so just click off the page there. So now if I refresh this, things should look like they did when before you installed the script and there will be no longer be numbers here. So that's how you can turn scripts on and off. Um let's see here. Now say we wanted to edit that script for some reason. Um how you would do that actually before I get there if you're on a Windows machine I would recommend getting uh, this piece of software but you don't have to it's a text editor that does uh, syntax highlighting it's notepad plus plus you can just search for it in your favorite thing and so I however I'm not going to use it it's it's a Windows only thing, right? Well, I guess it's not Windows only, but I have a, a comparable thing already installed called gedit. But I would recommend getting this if you're going to do much coding at all. Uh, it'll basically color code your text. It makes things easier to find. So if you need to download and install this, go ahead and pause this.